Hey, this is Brandon over at the Roseville Public Library. We know times are tough right now, and lots of people are probably looking at freshening up their resume. Instead of opening up a Microsoft Word template and trying to move letters around, I wanted to show you a website that I think is very handy. So in our new browser, if we go up and we type in Rezi, R-E-Z-I dot I-O, it's going to take us to a website that creates resumes that work for applicant tracking systems. So that would be like LinkedIn or Indeed. It's tailor-made to work with all that formatting that computer systems might use to try and find you. If we go up to this top right hand corner and click on create free resume, it's going to ask us to sign up. However, the account does not cost the money and at the end of this you will get a resume for free. Now the website does ask for money in a lot of other ways and you can decide yourself if that is worthwhile. But to start, we're going to go to continue as guest. And then we're going to click on create new resume. And we can just call it whatever we want to. If you would like to, you can put in the field you are anticipating or hoping to work in and your experience level, or you can just leave it blank. One of the things I like about this website is how easy it is. We're just going to fill out the information, and then if we press the tab button on our keyboard, we can jump over to the next spot. And if you have the information available, it will fill it all out for you. And then you just click Save Basic Info. And I'm going to skip to the end here just to keep the video brief, but we can type in a summary here. And it will even give you red squigglies here if you type something wrong. And if we decide to go to the next spot, it will even yell us and say, hey, don't do that. So we won't do that. We'll click save. We can go to experience and we can type this in, whatever it is that we did. And it'll give us some examples just to kind of let us know. And we were there from June 2016 to current. I was not the library, I am a librarian. And then we can put down here what we did, and it will give us bullets. Purchase books. And then we just click save. And if we want to continue on here, there are just different things we can put in here if we decide that they are important. When we get to the end, we click on finish up, and we can see that it's already done the lines and the formatting and the things for us. Two things that I think are really neat that sets this website apart is on this right hand side, it'll say AI keyword targeting. So you can copy and paste your job description in here, and it will check to see if you use the words over in your resume. So that is an awesome feature I haven't seen anywhere else that is also free. And then it'll also have this Resi score up here. If we click on that, it will break down how it feels about the resume. Now obviously this isn't as great as having eyeballs on your resume to let you know, but it's going to let you know if you've done some critical errors such as formatting and punctuation, if you didn't go into enough detail, we can click on format and it's going to tell us it's too long, too short. Optimization, it's not tailored to a specific job, so that question back in the beginning. Best practices and so on. Now, the resume wants your money or the website wants your money, so where you see these pro things, this is what you will have to pay for. When we are all done, we just click on the download, and it's going to ask us to create an account. 
We create the account and then it will let us download the resume for free. We're always happy to help over here at the library, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And as always, we hope you're well and we look forward to working with you soon. Have a great day, everyone.